Hey guys, it's Matt Pittman, CEO and pit master at Meat Church. Well, welcome to my outdoor kitchen. When I'm not eating barbecue, Asian food is my favorite food. So why not combine them? Let's make barbecue fried rice. So look, I'm not formally trained in the ways of Asian food, but I have been to Japan where a noodle cook who spoke no English told my Japanese buddy that I had the best chopstick skills of any white boy he'd ever seen. Anyway, true story is people come out to our lake house and this is what gets requested off the griddle all the time. It's our late night food, heck it might even be called our drunk food. I think it's pretty good, my family digs it. It's insanely easy to make, so I thought I'd show you guys um, how to make it. And I'm really excited today because we're gonna be doing this on the brand new Loco griddle. Why don't y'all come around here and get a look at some of these features. This thing is super sexy. In fact, this is the first video on YouTube on a Loco griddle. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Fire it up. Man, that fired up quick. So first off, this thing is gorgeous. It's got a beautiful lid. I love the color. It's different than anything else. I'd ever seen. It's even sitting on like these mag wheels down here that are super sick. But most importantly, you guys know I'm a loco guy. I'm just gonna say that. I fry turkeys with their gear. I boil crawfish with their gear. Everything they do, they kind of up the game on things. That's why I'm excited they got in the griddle market. This thing's got this patented smart temp technology where you have the same temperature all over this entire griddle, which is really unique. It's got some pretty Fancy levelers here, in case your ground isn't level, you can level it to evac the grease the right, right way. Uh, it's got a paper towel holder over here. It's got a trash bag holder over here. This thing is just awesome, and it's gonna make this cook a ton of fun. I love getting the family involved in this, so let's get to it. All right, let's put some butter down first. You can use olive oil, you know, kind of whatever you want. When I go to hibachi places, they use butter. So here's what I've done with some rice. So this is four cups of jasmine rice. Now I made this yesterday. This is just stuff I bought at the store. I boiled it um, and then I put it on this pan and I put it in my refrigerator overnight to dry it out. Uh, it's important to dry out your rice. It's not so clumpy and sticky, and it makes for a better product. And I've actually tested that and cooked it both ways. This is uh, definitely what I prefer. So we're gonna let that roll for just a minute, start heating up. Now, let's make this barbecue fried rice. So a lot of people put peas and carrots in their rice. I'm not a huge fan of those. I didn't eat them for my mom and I'm not gonna eat them for y'all. I thought let's make it barbecue fried rice. So what we have here, we made some pork belly. Uh, th these are pork belly burn-ins, but I made, them, I made them little bitty. And so these have cooled off but I'm gonna put those over here and I'm just gonna reheat this here. Now I've done this with, you know, I've made raw chicken, steak, you know, whatever you wanna put in it, heck, brisket. But I thought this would play really nicely. By the way, I've got the griddle rocking at 325. I think there's nine different temperature settings from low all the way up to sear, which is 500. I'm going middle of the road about 325. I like to start low with my griddles and increase as I need to. Uh, it's like all things I do in barbecue. You don't wanna go too far with something. Anytime you cook hot, things could get away from you. So I prefer to start a little lower and heat up if I need to. So I'm just gonna let this pork belly hang out over here on this side and, uh, and reheat. And this pork belly was super simple. We've got pork belly recipes on meatchurch.com and our YouTube channel. This was just a prairie fresh pork belly seasoned heavily with holy gospel uh, and, and smoked uh, for a, just about two hours or so. Sometimes I toss that in barbecue sauce to finish them. I did not do that today because I just didn't want the saucy component um, you know, for this. So we're gonna let that heat up over here. And I'm gonna toss this around and we're gonna put, flavor this up a little bit. And I'm gonna do that with two things. 
I'm gonna bring in here some soy sauce and some sesame oil. Now a lot of this is preference and to taste. You just kind of watch this. It wasn't too, too much. And this is the full body soy sauce, not the low sodium, but use whatever you want. Smells really good, sounds really good. Okay. And then I wanna put in a little sesame oil. This is key, gotta have this. Same thing. And let's toss that around. We'll season it too, but that'll be a little later. Just flatten that rice out, kind of get as much as you can on the surface. Pork belly's starting to bubble over here. You could obviously use any kind of leftover meat you have. I mean, this is uh, not leftovers, we made it for this, but this would be a great opportunity to pull things out of the freezer, you know, just add whatever proteins you want to it. But you know we gotta add some eggs. So let's crack some eggs to go in here. I used to do a couple eggs, my wife always asked me for more, Mrs. Meat Church says she wants more, she's gonna get it. So we're gonna go four today, but just put in however many you want. And I'm gonna just cook this stuff right here, just right, right beside the rice. I like to season my eggs either with Meat Church Holy Cow or Voodoo. This is great if you're just making eggs for breakfast. So let's mix these up. While that's cooking, I'm gonna flip my rice. Smells awesome. I mean, you pick up a, a big scent from the sesame oil, super good. But I highly recommend you get your family out here involved in this. My kids love to cook on a flat top. Get them outside. Everything cooked outside tastes way better. This is just a ton of fun. All right, those eggs are nice and cooked, so let's mix those in. So one of the things that's difficult for me when I recipe develop, a lot of this is about your personal taste, so I'll taste things along the way. I'm gonna grab a spoon and just jump right in here. It's gonna be hot, be careful. It's good, but I want a little more. A little more soy sauce and a little more sesame oil. My recipes are always guides. You still gotta make it your own and do what you like. Oh, one more thing. Let's season it. Let's go in with some of that Meat Church Holy Voodoo. Some people use salt and pepper. I use a little Meat Church. All right, let's retest it. I use just under half the bottle of sesame oil. I use less soy sauce. Let's bring in some, uh, some green onion. Something that I like. And let's look over here, look at the pork belly. It's bubbling, looking great. I know that's ready. So let's mix that in too. So as soon as I mix this up, this is done. As always, Dolly's right here on Meat Church Video Day. She's no dummy. She knows where she gets fed. All right, guys, this has been cooking, I'd say about 15 minutes uh, at 325, so I'm going to pull it. I'm going to tell you, this smells awesome. 
I'm pretty pumped to get in on these uh, pork belly burn ins. We're already winning before we have the fried rice. Um, I always give my wife a hard time. Like every time we go to uh, sushi restaurants or wherever, she always gets forks and spoons. So you could be like her, but let's see how we did. I know I've been kind of tasting it along the way, but final product here. That's a winner. I ain't mad at it. This is really, really good. Super simple. That was like 15 minute cook. I can't wait to cook more videos for y'all on the Loco Griddle. In fact, we'll put a playlist up here and as time goes on, we'll be filling that with more and more griddle videos. Um, the recipes and description are always down in the description. They're also on meatchurch.com. If y'all like what we're doing, like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see y'all next time.